Hi guys, I'm back with another video and today we are going to test out the Stabilo Woody 3-in-1 multi-talented pencils, <laughs> including the sharpener and the paintbrush because these pencils can draw on many surfaces apparently, including glass. So you can use them on windows and stuff. And so we're going to test these out because I haven't seen a lot of people talk about these. And I'm glad that this set in particular comes with the sharpener because these are chonky. And here is the sharpener. You know, at first I thought this would be a good sharpener for crayons, but these are way bigger than crayons. Let's see. I thought we could test them out on my Tropical World by Millie Murata because I just got this and it came with the gold foil like uh, rubbed off, which is kind of weird, but whatever, it's okay. These have a light fast rating, it seems like the stars right here. So they are really chunky. I'm not going to use the brush that they gave in the set because I'm going to use my water brush. These have like a little bit of a powdery um, dust on them. Which I'm assuming is like from the wax. You know how regular pencils are like that too? Alright, I'll hold it up here so you can see for a second. So it's very easy to sharpen. Although it's not catching the wood very much. Let's start with this stem right here. So... Oh, smooth. It is like a crayon. Definitely not for super tight spaces. <laughs> it reminds me of a gel crayon. Except, um, it, it colors a little more evenly than a gel crayon. To me, at least. And, like, I'm kind of using the side of it because that's just naturally how I color. Like, I'm not using... You see, like, it's kind of worn down on the side. I don't know if you can tell. Well, that's neat. Okay, so should we... Let's wet it down with water. I put way too much, by the way. If you wet things with water, you should really not put this much color down on the page but we'll do it anyway oh yeah it wets like a um like a water soluble pencil or a gel, a gel crayon i have the shuttle art, shuttle art gel crayons and they're awesome also i have the neo color one crayons which are the non-water soluble um, version. Um, mostly people in the coloring community talk about Neo Color 2s, but interesting. I wonder. It's kind of got messy right here, but that's okay. Whee. We can go outside the lines a little bit, can we? It depends on my mood. Sometimes I don't want to. Like, I hate it. And sometimes I'm like, eh, whatever. So since we wet it, we can't... We have to wait till it dries to go over it. But we're going to do the top of the flower bud. Because I'm assuming that this part is the middle of the flower. And it's just kind of... All its petals are down here. These 
Oh, these would be so fun to draw on windows. <laughs> I can't draw at all, but I would make a bunch of like swirly patterns on my windows. So this is the brown. By the way, they're really cute. <laughs> Here's what the end looks like. So, let's see. Is it here to here or here? No, it's funny about if they're so chunky. They're really good for backgrounds. <laughs> I don't know if I'd color a flower like I'm doing. <laughs> you could. Okay. So. And then we're going to do pink and purple. So we have a light pink. Very nice. And we have this, like, medium purple. Not quite violet, because we have a darker purple that would be violet. So we're going to... Let's see. We're going to start with the lighter pink, and then we're going to just go down. Do, 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 do. Watch out for the, uh, the red berries. Again, one of the hazards of chunky coloring materials. <laughs> Can't really see what you're doing sometimes, but it's okay. That's why I would say these are better suited for backgrounds, but I'm nuts, so... We're trying them all kinds of ways today. I'll tell you what, these are very easy on the hands. For sure. If you just want to scribble Till your heart's content, these are definitely it. They're actually easier to control than oil pastels. <laughs> I was going to say, they kind of remind me of oil pastels, but... I don't know, oil pastels are strange. Okay. Now you could leave it like that. But... We are not. And I didn't get a paper towel to wipe my water brush off. So, I always go light to dark when I wet water-soluble material. So, we're going to start with the light pink. And then work our way down to the purple. And you know, you can put some purple in the pink, it doesn't matter. Oh wow, so pretty. There's something so satisfying about, <laughs> like when I use uh, my watercolor pencils, there's so, something so satisfying about activating them, because I don't know, it's really funny. There's definitely a lot of color on this <laughs> page. Are we going to put some color into the pink part right here? Just for fun. Now let's do the middle part. Let's 
let's just get color off the end right here. And normally I don't do this. I just color it all in and then activate it. But this is good if you have tiny spaces. This is probably what I should have done with the flower. But I didn't. Say lovey. Ooh. Very bright. You know what? I was being precious about the ends. Actually, you know what? The stems are probably brown on this plant. From my experience. I'm sure there's a lot of different plants like this one. I am I have no idea what the names of plants are. Like, even, even if in the book tells you. Like, you know how in Maria Trolle's books. How in the back it'll say... On this page, you have this, 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 and this. And I'm always like, okay. <laughs> Still don't know what that is, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. I just call her flowers. Unless I honestly know what they're called. Some of them I can identify. I just call her them. Whatever tickles my fancy. Maybe once I play with them more, I'll, uh, do a background with these because it makes me think of like in the romantic country books some of them have really big backgrounds because some of them are outdoors and it's a lot of sky <laughs> I bet on the Stabilo website they probably have a lot of ideas with what you can do with these. I saw somebody say you can like heat them up a little bit and make the ends really soft and then color with them. And it makes like a textured effect when it dries. That could be interesting. You can see though it dries lighter than it um, goes down. But it's very easy to um, pick the color up off the crayon with the water brush because the, the crayon is so big. <laughs> you have a lot of surface area to work with. Neat, right? It's kind of relaxing. I am not a painter. <laughs> I'm not a painter or a drawer, drawer, -er, illustrator <laughs> at all. I am definitely a cult, just a colorist. Like other talented people can draw the stuff. I will color it in and or paint the stuff. My brain, when I try to, like, because I do have some, like, how to draw books and stuff. And I can literally feel my brain overheating when I try to teach myself how to draw, like, from this how to draw things. But I need some kind of a reference because just drawing from life doesn't work for me either. Because I'm like, well, I don't know where to start even. <laughs> And drawing is one of those things, when you first learn it, I think it's, you have to keep doing it all the time or you'll just lose all the progress you made, which is unlike some other hobbies where you can just kind of put them down and pick them up again, you I think you really have to be dedicated. Same with painting. I think you really have to love painting sewing too probably I'm not a sewer though I do like the idea of sewing like I like cross stitch and embroidery and stuff and I'd really like to make one of those hook latch for rugs they're really cute like get a kit or something but I don't know 
I have enough things going on hobby wise. Like, um, I have probably, um, mm, one, two, three pages I'm coloring at one time. <laughs> I used to think, like, oh, I had to stick to the one page at a time kind of thing. And then I'm like, who came up with that rule? <laughs> Just me. You can color 20 at a time if you want. That's why I have to write down what I'm using because I'll forget. I usually put it on a sticky note. kind of hard to tell like it looks a lot brighter for some reason let me see looks a lot brighter in person than it does on the camera Yeah, that was a lot easier than coloring it and then wetting it. That was fun. So this is the teal. It looks more blue on the camera. I don't know why. The colors are really funny on this camera. This is the lightest blue. Which again, it makes it look kind of purple. Which is, it's not purple at all. So we're going to do this leaf right here. See, it looks really thick when you put it down, but it, when it dries, it dries a little bit more, less opaque. I have, this is the only Millie Murata coloring book I have, but I have this one book. Um, I think it's called Archipelago, or some people say Archipelago, I say Archipelago, tomato, tomato, and it's a book, it's like a coffee table book, or a compilation, and a compilation of different artists drawing different fantastical worlds they've made up, like in map form. And, like, there's a little blurb about the world on the side. And she's in that book. It's a really heavy, <laughs> really thick book. I'll have to, like, do a show and tell and show you her. Show you the book and show you her island. All right, so we've got a little bit of the teal color. And now we need a little bit of the light blue color. Also, don't oversaturate your paper. I think I just did that, but it's okay. Whatever. Once it dries, though, it has a really nice effect. There was a time in my life where I would have, like, tried to get in between all those bug legs right here. That's on this leaf. I don't care anymore. I'll color right over those legs. Alright, let's zoom in. 
can you guys see um it's like not even but that's fine i kind of like it that way i bet if you tried really hard you could make it more even but nah. and then can you see our our these came out the best probably because they're the sm smallest area but i still think it's pretty cool I would do the whole, um, page like this. Thank you guys so much for watching my very unorganized review. <laughs> um, I will see you guys later on. Thanks for watching. Bye.